Hello everyone, my name is Harini and I am a student at Kesha Memorial Institute of Technology, second year CSE AIML. In this video, I will be discussing about the problem statement, giving you a status update and about the progress made so far. Let's get started. So we have to develop a translator that accepts English language sentences as input and converts the text to sign language for people suffering from hearing loss. We can either choose ASL, BSL or ISL. Most importantly, the implementation should be on a cloud platform. These would be some of the objectives for this project. Coming to the tech stack, for the first phase, that is the user interface part. For the front end, we will be using the key technologies, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, including the ArcGIS. In the second phase, which is the machine learning part, we will be using Amazon Transcribe and NLP. Amazon Transcribe is a speech-to-text service provided by AWS. It uses advanced machine learning algorithm to automatically transcribe audio to accurate text. NLP stands for Natural Language Processing. It focuses on enabling machines to understand and interpret text. It is used to handle gloss and stop words in this project. We can also be training the model using a data set. In the third phase, which is the Unreal part, Unreal Engine is used to create animations, that is the custom animations that can perform sign language gestures. WebSocket library in Unreal Engine is an open source C++ library that provides a simple and efficient interface for creating WebSocket connections. For the cloud implementation, we will be using Amazon Web Services. Most importantly, the four services are being used. AWS Lambda, it is a serverless computing service offered by AWS that allows us to run code without provisioning or managing services. We will be integrating the WebSocket API with AWS Lambda functions. WebSocket API Gateway is used to enable real-time bi-directional communication between clients and servers. DynamoDB is a fully managed NoSQL database provided by AWS. AWS SageMaker is a fully managed ML platform that enables us to build, train, and deploy ML models at scale. The estimated flow of work is this. We first convert the speech to text using Amazon Transcript service. That sentence is then transformed and the phrases are identified. This will be implemented using NLP or training an ML model. After going through this phase, the output would be a gloss sentence removing the stop words. A DynamoDB table is created which stores the phrases and alphabet. The corresponding animation ID along with the montage name is stored in the next column. When the gloss is generated, those words animation sequence reference is extracted from the Unreal Engine. If there is no such word, such as nouns, consider this word called Mississippi. In that case, fingerspelling of each letter is done. This animation is exported through the WebSocket to the front-end application. This is the progress update so far. In week 1, we explored AWS Lambda, S3 buckets, DynamoDB by creating an AWS account and an IAM user. In week 2, we were introduced to EC2. We learned to create an instance, create a DynamoDB table, do some scan query operations and so on. In week 3, we started uh, the next phase by installing Unreal Engine and working on the environment since we have to do most of the work with the character mainly. In the next week, we started creating custom animations. In week 5, we initiated working on WebSockets. This is a control rig mannequin. In Unreal Engine, a control rig is a powerful tool that allows for the creation of complex character animations. We will be using for sign language, uh, which are the hand movement. The box highlighted with red shows the default animations uh, in a third character, like the third person run, third person walk, and so on. So to create an uh, animation, we will be using a level sequencer. Once you have created a new sequence, you can start adding tracks. To create an animation sequence, 
we will be adding keys to the tracks keys represent different states of the elements in the scene such as position rotation and scale of a character here i moved the hand by adding a plus key similarly in consequent intervals all these can be added so in this way i created a custom animation of the person saying hello so after the sequence is done we can bake it to the uh, we can bake the animation sequence and that animation is added to our animations folder in the content box so these are the few other animations like family good morning skate and so on uh, we created this custom animations which will be used for sign language gestures Imagine you are having a phone conversation with a friend. With traditional HTTP requests, you have to hang up and redial every time you want it. With web sockets, it's like having a direct line with your friend that stays open the whole time. So, web socket is a communication protocol that enables real-time, bi-directional communication between a client and a server. So, uh, for our project, when the audio data is given and that is converted into text, web socket can be used to transmit this data. and from the back end part after uh, the text translation we can use this uh, to web sockets to generate the corresponding sign language transition so the user interface part of the application that captures input communicates with aws through web sockets the aws back end could consists of the four main combinations such as aws api gateway aws lambda dynamo db sage maker and so on the api gateway would receive the web socket connection from the front end application and then invoke a lam lambda function to process the request the lambda function could then retrieve the appropriate animation sequence reference from dynamo db the retrieved animation sequence could be sent to the unreal engine through a web socket connection we created a serverless chat application with the web socket api as you can see here so the action is send message and the message is hey everyone the other client connected could receive a message hey everyone this is just a tutorial for exploring web socket we also connected unreal engine with web socket as you can see here is a message displayed successfully connected so when we send a message from the front end like let's say hello it's being displayed in the console as well as in the command prompt and in the unreal engine here the there's a, a debugger message called received message client the id and a message hello coming to the machine learning part there are four approaches mainly so we can be using the paths of speech tagging and then transformation uh, we can also be using the sequence to sequence model which will be trained by a a uh, gloss to text data set by using keyword we can extract and embed the and then change the sentence to glosses ibn alignment model it aligns and translate foreign text to glosses and the required target language by removing the stop words these would be some of the ml approaches and we are still working on how to convert the sentence to glosses through uh, ml by by the sequence to sequence model in the next video we will, i will be sharing the whole progress this is the progress so far thank you